When I was younger, I always surfed. My dad pushed me into waves when I was like three years old. Always had it in my blood. Growing up in Hawaii, you're kind of surrounded by the ocean. I felt like surfing found me. I've been surfing for going on 19 years now. I've been coming down to this beach since I was six years old. Uh, I've definitely walked this trail quite a bit. Now to drive it with the Jeep Wrangler is insane. I was born and raised in Ubatuba, Brazil. I started surfing pretty young, like around six or seven years old. The first year that I tried to qualify, I, I had a really good year and just qualified in the first five months. I spent four and a half years on the qualifying series just to get to the world tour, and I qualified when I was 24. You need to learn to be fueled by your failures. Pick yourself up, dust those knees off, and just keep moving along. As long as you have that willpower and that heart and that passion, you're going to get through anything as long as you set good goals. It's really fun because you're really uh, testing Mother Nature in anywhere you go around the world. I think it was like a gradual evolution becoming a professional. Now I'm surfing mostly the waves, but I get to surf the road now. <laughs> it definitely becomes a small world. It's funny to be in Australia and be so competitive. But then come back and and when it's all said and done, we're doing the same thing because we love it so much and it's a passion. I would still be surfing even if I wasn't doing the competition.